blazes get cooled off because it's hotter than the blazes and the poor things are just out there roasting. It's that time as well. There's the pigs on their new concrete pad. It's pretty gross over there right now though. It is very hot. Hey there. So let's see what we can do. Hey everybody! Nice to see you all. Excellent, excellent. So, I'm going to see if I can set this down. Yes, Mikey. Mikey is probably in there just hanging out. All right, so, Mikey. There's our boat that's for sale by the Lots of Pontoon in Michigan. Hit us up. Hi, guys. Look at... Hi, Raptor. Why are you in their food pan, you little turd? Chewbacca and who's that guy? Hi Mikey. How's my buddy? Hi, the temperature's 89 or 90 degrees. Right around there. Everybody is roasting. They're all sitting in front of the fan over there. Hi babies. Hello, I'm Raptor is frantically trying to get away. You're fine. Nobody's hurting you. He's nervous. But you're fine. Cable vents with fans attached. No, I actually would be a good idea. Hi, babies. I know, you are so roasty. All right, I'm going to set this down. Seriously, Josie, do you have your head stuck in there? What are you doing? She's crazy. All right, hi. Hello. Don't hurt me. Um, the kids forgot to put the lid on the feed, so love when all the flies get in there. It's nice. Kick it, get rid of them. And then, what's up, guys? You're fine. Mr. Hose, and then they have like a nice little mist. Some goes where the goats can get to it, and a lot of it goes where the pigs get some nice misting going on. Also, piece of grass, a little green on this side, not so much on that side. Hey guys, how we doing? How's your water? If your water one has got some in it, well, it's pretty full, but ew, there's bugs. Alright, so we're going to reset.
down the sprinkler system so that they can get out here without it being too messy. But the piggies, let's see, my hand for water. babies. It's a little dry and crispy out here, but I was able to wet down all the goats. The sheep avoided me wetting them down. Stinkers. But everybody is doing well, pretty healthy and happy. And I wanted to make sure I did a quick live stream because I, you know, haven't done one in a while and why not? The volume is low. Oh, happy birthday, Yoshi. Awesome. Sorry that the volume is low. I uh, had a little incident when I was shearing sheep a few weeks ago and kind of spilled a caramel macchiato on my phone. Well, I mean, technically I didn't, the sheep did, but you guys hiding out in the shade over here? I know, you're so sweet. Oh. Anyway, they just like to hang in the shade. And these guys like to go back in the barn and those guys are hanging underneath their shade too. But they have the mister going, so they've got a little bit of coolness coming at them. All right, I don't know if I saw any comments. I need to respond to the shame bag. Hi, babies. I'm pointing at these guys here, these guys I can look at. Okay, it is definitely short some time different. 91 is so high, Floor is on fire, for sure. Ow, flies are biting me too. The goats need your wash line. Yes, they get to stay in here. Oh, Paul, I actually do have makeup on still because I just came home from work. Hydrophobic. They are kind of hydrophobic, but they need to not be. Oh, thanks, Paul. Is that a little squirrel? I am actually really hot right now. Yes, the goats are getting big, except for Mikey. He's still pretty tiny. Pizza review. Oh, see that. 75, not too bad. I know sunscreen. Probably should. No husband on the four wheeler. No. But he did declare that is a clean the house for one hour when they do it at home. So I wanted to get this live stream going before that. Oh, you saw my legs. I don't know if you saw my legs, but thanks, Taco. If you want a boat, it's for sale. We need to get a speed boat because the pontoon's not fast enough for the kids. And absolutely, I should be on the water. Kevin, yes, long time no see. Oh, boy, he's close to me. oh, that's a great idea, Cheeky Monkey. Then I wouldn't have to do their hooves nearly as often. Hi, guys. What you doing? This is um, Simone on the left here and Bridget on the right. They came with names. See, yeah, the farm is very really peaceful until my kids get home. And here's their new basketball court that our friend poured for us. Also a goat washing station. It's where the great caramel macchiato incident happened. Yeah, boat, B-O-A-T, bring out another thousand. And they were not joking when they made up that acronym. But we're going to walk toward the lake because I'm super jealous. And I'm sure some of my friends are out on the lake right now because the sandbar is right across from us. So, let's see. We've been trying to water our grass to keep it green, but there's definitely some spots of dead yellow grass. Let's take a peek out to the sandbar and see if anything's out there. Oh yeah, there's people out there. Oh, just for one boat. I don't know if you guys can see it way out there, there you know. That's the sandbar right there. Sometimes there'll be like 15 or 20 boats. Nick, I didn't spill it, but the, the uh, sheep did. 
it. It kicked it over. My phone was sitting on top of my speaker box thing playing music. And um, it, yeah, she jumped off the stand unexpectedly, of course, toward where my phone was. Paul, fly control measures. Uh, <laughs> none. Uh, I tried to. We have talked about a city. Can you find that zip line? Right there. Um, fly control. I put up like fly trap things. I spray some sort of poison that is not too poisonous to me or the animals. But that's about it. I've heard that you can get these little. I don't know what they are, honestly. It's like a. I can't think of the word. But they like eat the fly larva, if that makes sense. But that you have to know what kind of flies you have. Hello, Tina. Just got home from Grand Rapids. Nice. Hey, Bob. Nice to see you. I was hoping somebody would have a live stream that I could just like piggyback off of today because I didn't have a whole lot to talk about. Other than at the end of the day, we were discussing the R. Kelly case and how he uh, is going to prison for quite some time, as he should. But other than that, in the Maxwell, yeah, she definitely. My poor flowers. I think I did a thing on flowers not too long ago, but I haven't been great about spring. Oh, thanks, Big Al. Appreciate it. But I haven't been weeding my flowers very well. But look, we're doing okay. This is our one weird large flower bed that's just kind of a hodgepodge of everything. But my favorites are these. I have a lot of yellow columbines, but I have some really pretty pink and purple. Oh, you can't hear me because the wind. Sorry about that. And look at this lavender. Lavender really likes our house. So I'm pretty happy about it. There's some hollyhocks in there. These are dying. I'm not sure why. Nobody likes that hill. We have very sandy soil here. And uh, so obviously grass is hard to keep alive even when we water it. Uh, there are a few vacations coming up. Judge does his staycation, so he'll be doing that. Here's my pretty ones. I'm waiting for these baby columbines that they give off to transplant them. And that's basically what I've done. Time does have a nice smell. All right. And then the flowers over here are struggling a touch because they're kind of getting bored. But that's the koi pond that Koi were in when we moved here. They survived for a bit, but the people that power washed our house accidentally used chemicals that were not conducive with life for them. These little bushes we put in last year, and they're doing pretty good. Plans for the weekend? Oh, you know me. A little bit of everything. Gonna water my plants. Gonna hang on the lake. I'm actually gonna go out in cold water. Oh, look, there's babies. Front yard. It's a really great spot for them. Something fantastic. All right. I asked the kids to water my flowers. Uh, those are looking rough. I think I need to repot them. Okay. Those are doing pretty decent. And then, yeah, those are pretty good. So there you go. Flower tour, animal tour. I think you've seen a lot, right? But that's about all I have. Uh, unless anybody has actual questions we can answer. Let's go to the shade. It's really freaking hot. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> what do you go back and watch? Oh, I should go back and watch. Probably like crap because I spilled that drink on my phone. So I'll work on that. I keep saying I should probably just get a new phone and call it a day, but I try to make my phone last a while because I'm cheap. But, all right, if you guys don't have any other questions, probably just boring watching right now. It's really pretty out. I am going to try to go start on my house cleaning so I can knock that out and be able to go outside and like just lay in the sun and relax. The air conditioning at work is so freaking cold in my office that, uh, thanks Bill, I'll just, you know, get a new phone. 
Yes, I need to put some sun back on. I'm not burned right now. I'm just like hot because it's literally 90 some degrees out and I'm running around taking care of the animals. But anyway, it's been really fun. Thanks for joining. And I promise I'll do something with substance soon. Um, yeah, my uh, son and, well, two of my sons and my husband went to see Top Gun. They loved it. So we'll hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the animals for a second and you know checking out on my flower beds and marie i'm doing all right just hanging in there living life well thanks atlas you don't get to see my facial expressions up front too much anymore but that's all right we've got new um, webcams in our offices so trying to coordinate that too kind of troublesome at times all right, guys, I promise it's like a Michigan goodbye. It takes 25 minutes, but I'm really saying goodbye now. So thank you. If you have any ideas for shows that you want to see or videos that you want you to look at or comment on, as long as it's not something from 3D or Michigan in general, um, I will do what I can to watch it and comment. So, yeah, it's a short but fun. 25 minutes. That's all you get. Peace out, everybody.